hi everyone so today i'm gonna demonstrate on how to do sequins fabric so as usual we're gonna color the skins first just always remember with uh, the skins color always start with the lightest one and then uh, gradually edit the shading uh, step by steps so basically after finishing the skins uh, we're gonna work on the fabric and beside the Copic marker, you also need a micro pen and also the white gel pen and also white pencil color to add the extra texture. So I'm gonna start with the pens first. So I'm gonna divide the lines to make it more neat. And then after I divide the line, I try to fill in the inside part and try to be precise when you coloring it. And so based on the reference, the pants is quite plain. Uh, it only has a detail in the middle. It's like a, a pleats line. So make sure that we color this pants evenly. Don't leave any uh, white mark. Just make sure that you block the whole color perfectly. And as usual, try not to stop in the middle. Try to keep going and make sure that the whole color looks nice and neat and uh, balanced enough so sometimes we do make a little mistake for example if uh, the copic marker uh, accidentally crossing the sketch lines and it looks a little rough but if it's very little you still can um, fix it with the micro pen later on when you finish the whole thing so you can add extra lines uh, at the edge to make the illustration more clean so after finishing with the pens let it dry and we can work on the sequence so how to do the sequence is basically making a dots all over the surface and uh, it's quite tiring because it's very small but then you have to keep it up until it finishes the whole surface and after that sometimes you have to let it dry and then do it once again to get extra tension and texture and then after it really dry you can add a gel pen on the shiny part on the highlighted part and also a drawing pen uh, to make it more uh, divine so it has three sides so make sure that you fill the whole color so after we finish making the dots for the sequence we have to make it more divine by adding details like the gel pen and also the micro pen so the micro pen will be at the darker part so it will be more uh, bold and then at the highlighted part we're, we're gonna add the gel pen so uh, you don't have to add the black micro pen and the gel pen all over the sequence but you can check on the uh, reference images where or which part that is more uh, suitable to add the details like the micro pen and also the gel pen and remember because of the sequence images it's quite small and pretty neat uh, make sure that you work on a very small micro pen because there are a lot of uh, sizes of micro pen so make sure that you pick a quite small one so you can work on the detail neatly um, after finishing the sequence part we can go back to the pen so we're now adding the details using the white pencil color so make sure the pencil color is quite sharp because we need it to highlight it some part like the folded uh, part of the pants here and also the lines the details and then after that uh, we will try to make the edge clean by adding more micro pen at the edge so after we cover the whole edge after we think that is uh, enough or pretty clean we can work on the hat and on the hat there is uh, small details of the sequence at some part so you just need to add uh, 
white gel pen on the most shiny part and then don't forget to divine the lines of the head with the white pencil color so that's basically the tricks on how to do a sequence fabric